Hello and welcome to this eighth tutorial video on how to make a button jointed ragdoll. We're going to look at putting together the sections of our legs and our arms by jointing the elbows and knees. We're going to attach buttons, you'll need 12 on the outside and it doesn't really matter too much what size they are as long as they fit within that curve at the top of the leg and the arm. So you can go for something a bit bigger or a bit smaller. I quite like the, the smaller buttons and I love the colours in these. So you've got a, a lower arm and an upper arm. You want the thumbs to be pointing up like this and you've got the closing sections at the back. The bottom and the top, the bottom's narrower. And we're going to squeeze a bit of the filling out of this divide and we're going to pop the upper arm inside the lower arm like that. When you've got it in a nice position with the arm well pushed down into the lower arm, pass a doll needle or something through. If you haven't marked your dots, if you haven't marked your dots, then pass that doll needle through. You can also use this as an option to kind of make sure that it fits nicely together. That's good. And then you can pull that out and you'll actually be able to see those dots and it'll give you a good guide as to passing through your needle. I'm going through the bottom of the upper arm right the way through the bottom section making sure I'm coming out like that. Leave a little thread hanging and then I'm going to making sure I've got my positioning correct and my arm is all pointing the right way. So I pop it back in there I'm now going to go through the outer part here of the lower arm. So again through those dots I've marked. You may well have your positioning dots marked. This is just in case you haven't. So make sure that's sitting nicely in there. Then I'm going to pop a button with the flat edge will sit against the fabric. So through one hole and back through the other. So it's going to sit nicely on the outside. Now I'm going to pass my thread back through just a few millimetres away so that I don't catch the first part of the thread. So there's a gap of a few millimetres. I can pull my thread through without it snagging on the first piece of thread I pass through. Now I'm going to go back through the lower section of the upper arm. And again out a few millimetres away from the first thread. So that's one side done. I'm going to pull that tight just to make sure I don't have any loops. And now I can pass my needle through the other outer section. So from inside to outside like that and then I'm going to pop my second button on. Flat side is going to sit against the outer piece of fabric and then through the opposite hole in the button and then back through this outer section to where I started, where my tail of my thread is hanging there. Now if you're giving this to a child, don't use buttons, just thread joint and possibly repeat this entire part so that you've got extra strong joints. So I'm going to pull this, all these threads tidy like that, take the needle off and I can pull this nice and tight and I can knot my thread off. So pull that good and tight like that. And then tie a double knot or a triple knot. an extra time. There we go. And then 
I got a jointed elbow. And now I just need to lose these threads. So I do that by using the doll needle again. I'm going to pass this thread into the eye of the doll needle. I've got one long thread here and one short thread deliberately so I can show you one of the techniques for if your thread is a bit short. So that's going to go through the close to the hole where the thread came out and out anywhere else. Put it nice and tight and snip it and you'll lose the end inside. And then if this thread does go into there, you're fine. If not, pass your needle in without the thread attached. Then once it's passed through, pop the thread through and pull it out the other side. That's if your thread is too short to go into your needle and through your doll. So there we go, a jointed elbow. Repeat it with the other arm and then we're onto the legs. Same thing again, all the same pieces, lower, upper parts of the leg, a doll needle with thread and your two buttons. So we identify the front and the back and the top and the bottom of our upper leg. Pop it into position. Remember your closing seams on your leg are both at the back. And then pop that right down into that groove there. That's where I'm going to pop the button. You can actually use the button to help you with your positioning if you're not sure. You can even do it all in one go while it's in position but I've never found that gives the neatest results and I much prefer to go through the bottom of the upper leg first and do it section by section so that it's nice and even. Pull that through so you have a tail left. Make sure your two back sections are both at the back of the legs. Make sure that's sitting nice and that's going to go through there. Make a hole mark there. And then you can pass that through from the inside to the outside, like that, so that your thread comes out of the upper leg and through the lower leg, then through one side of your button so that your flat edge sits against the fabric, through the other hole of the button and then back through just a few millimetres away again from the original thread like that so that it doesn't catch and then it'll just smoothly slide through and then back through a few millimetres away Like that. There you go. That's one side done. And then we're going to do the other side. So, again, we're going to pull that nice and tight so there are no loops. And then this is where our button is going to sit. And we're going to go through from the inside to the outside. Like that. Through one hole of our button. And then back through the other hole of the button and just a few millimetres away from the original thread and pull it through. Get the tail you back to where you started now. So pull, 
pull your threads nice and tight and you should have a nice tight knee there give it a little tug make sure there are no loops put it nice and tight and then tie your knot Mine's going to be, there you go, a little double knot and a nice little jointed knee. I'm actually going to tie my third <laughs> just in case. Oh, keep going. You can't have too many knots. And now I've got nice long bits of thread, so I'm going to go back into the very close to where I've come out. Doesn't matter where you go now, just pass it through, pull it nice and tight, and snip close to the fabric so that the end disappears inside. And then pass the remaining thread smoothly without having to skip it because you couldn't get it through first time. <laughs> through the, the other side, pull it tight and snip. There you go. And we have a knee. That concludes our tutorial video. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe. We'd love your feedback and a like. There are more videos coming soon.